Well, back at the creek today. I was here a week ago and just none of the big fish were in a, an eating mood. Uh, there were some fry garters. I feel like the topwater bite should be on right now. I don't want to carry two rods and I don't want to tie on a leader. You know, what's the point of having all these different rods if you're always changing up everything? So what I'm doing is I have two rods with me, one set up for jigs, one set up for topwater, and I'm going to fish the first hole. And whatever it tells me I need to fish, that's what I'm going to fish. I'm going to take the other one back to the truck. You know, I went back and forth between just going all in on top water because that's what they should be hitting. But there's a couple things that just make me question that a little bit. One, <clears throat> we've got those wildfires burning up in Canada, which has created a just a constant overcast condition. Two, we're down like five inches of rain, I think, uh, in the last two months. So it's drier than normal. The temperature's been down a little bit the last few weeks. Or, and, you know, it's still in the normal range. The highs have been in the maybe low to mid 70s this week and the lows in the 50s. So normally it'd be, just two weeks ago, we had highs in the upper 80s and low 90s and the lows were in the upper 60s, so. Definitely had a fish look at that one. Missed one there. But they're definitely not crushing it. So let's, uh, before I just sit here and get them completely spooked, let's throw the jig and see what happens. You know, I really had it in my mindset that early morning down here in this spot, with as many fish, oh. so far the bites are about equal. I don't know about follows on the jig, but definitely had a hit there. Neither one of them are lighting them up. You know, I really wanted this to be a, uh, a topwater day. Inside with this hair jig, there's a lot of hair algae. Well, my plan to have the fish tell me what they wanted this morning did not work. They're not cooperating. So I'm going to go with what I wanted to catch them on and what they should be hitting. And I'm going to fish this stretch of creek. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna go fish another stretch of creek. So we're going top water. Here's the setup we're running with today. I have our prototype rod. We call it the 2X for 2X Ultralight. It's actually the Power BFS rod. Uh, we're throwing the Whopper Plopper 90 or 75 on it. So you can see it can handle a good bit of weight. I'm also throwing that with our prototype reel. And the line is Daiwa six pound J braid, no leader, tied straight to with a Oh, I'll put the name of the knot on the uh, on the screen. I've been using it lately and, and like it. For Honestly, if I had had zero interest in top water, like if I hadn't had a couple of fish at least swirl on it, I probably wouldn't have gone with it. But today, the bridge fishies may not be playing. We're looking for those one or two big bites now. And there we go. I was just getting ready to say, I know this is the territory that old Mean I lives. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. No. Oh. 
Dang, come it. That was a nice fish. That was definitely a nice fish. Crap. That sucks because I really think that was the fish that I wanted out of this hole. There's one that's bigger than the rest. I don't know if it's the same one that I caught last year <clears throat> that was missing an eye or was blind in one eye. I keep moving upstream. Right where I thought he would be. I don't know what the structure is over there, but there's definitely something that holds fish over in that spot. Stopped up at the dam, but the low water flow just makes it not really all that worthwhile. But if you look, these are all bluegill beds dug into the spillway area. This is a great bluegill fishing area. Sometimes it's got bass, but for the most part, bluegill. So I came downstream a few miles. This is a common spot in some of my videos. It's, it's close to home. There can be some good fish in here. There have been really not many good smallmouth in the, and it's because of the rain, right? This is a really small tributary that leads into that larger creek. Um, but I get here, of course I see a car and it's a popular spot, so no big deal. But as I go out to that little tributary, the guy is, basically wading through where all the fish are and just wading upstream i'm like what are you doing dude so anyway so i'm just gonna head out to the mainstream main creek and see if we can't get one or two on top water actually land them obviously this is the slightly less urban section of the creek still within the the city limits and all that stuff town limits i guess not really the city This is definitely what I would consider the, the more peaceful section. Combination of wood that's been over there for the last few years. There's some nice sized rocks in the middle of this place. It's sort of some depth. I just feel like really surprised. I'm gonna go see how deep this gets. It looks like it gets deep, but maybe it's not as deep as I think it is. I can look at it across here. Basically, I just don't want to get batteries or anything like that. But... The last couple of years, this has always been. I was just getting ready to say this has always been a prime fishing hole, and I feel why. Holy hell! So right in here, of course, this tree has moved in past years. There have been fish. Ooh, that was close. I, I, I gave the top water a long time. Like literally I fished it for three hours. Oh, man, and first cast on the jig. He must have just inhaled it because I didn't feel him. Okay, maybe I made the wrong call this whole time. That's not a big one. Not a big one, but first cast and we avoided the skunk.
a little Z-Man crawl trailer. Can't remember, I've bought so many different jigs, I don't remember which one this is. But it definitely, definitely got the, the job done today. Let's throw in there again. Well, daggummit. Well, we definitely got to tie on another one of those. Okay, well, I tied on that other jig. Forgot to turn, hit record, cast it once and lost it. So now I'm trying this combo, PB and J with a yum green pumpkin Ned Craw. And I'm going to probably stay away from this little section by the bridge because it seems to be more snags than I remember in there. He might have. But... Oh, that one had picked it up. I thought I hit a. I thought I had hit a little branch in there or something. Oh, there we go. That one hit it pretty hard. It's not that big. I'm just. I just hit the uh, the drag. He's not bad though. Actually, he's not bad at all. I don't know if that was the same one a few times. Or... That's not bad at all. Nice. That's a solid fish. That is a very solid fish. Okay, go ahead. Be ready to go. I don't think I can get anybody else out of that hole. A couple bites in there. <laughs> Definitely some feeding smallies in this spot, and they like this jig. Well, hey, I gave the uh, I gave the top water a, a long time, like three hours today. You know, if I would have caught a couple of those fish that hit the one that I hooked up on, it, I don't know, the one that I ended up catching on the jig was it might have been the same size. I feel like that one was a little bit bigger, but you always feel that way with the ones you lost. I, I feel like I would have said, okay, I made the right decision. But now the way I'm getting bites on the jig, unfortunately, the the battery in the uh, the Insta 360 is out, so. If I catch anything else, maybe I'll try to get some phone videos or uh, just some pictures. But uh, thanks for watching. And, you know, it's uh, it's post-spawn. And they're starting to hit all the things that they're supposed to hit. Just not top water as well as I wanted them today. A little groundhog sitting right there on the edge of the, the creek. Not even really. Oh, he looked up at me now. but he's Just hanging out. Looking at his reflection, maybe. Maybe he wants to be the next Phil. See his reflection instead of a shadow. Now we've got a deer. At least it's been a fun filled late morning. Even if I haven't caught any more fish. But I'm sure she'll take off once I head a little bit more upstream.